Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show how I made this Orc Santa and his sleigh being pulled along by these squig hoppers. Merry Christmas everyone! I hope you've all been good this year and Santa brings you something lovely, like a big box of Citadel miniatures. That's certainly what's been on my wish list. So rather than use reindeers, I thought I'd go with these squig hoppers, as they seem more appropriate to put an Orc Santa sleigh along. As with all Citadel miniatures, these are so highly detailed and look absolutely fantastic. Plus, they have the added bonus to come along with these lovely sprues that I'll be using for something later on. So we just start by cutting them off the sprues, then obviously gluing them together and cleaning them up by shaving off any mould lines or any areas that seem to be touched or any areas where they were cut off from the sprues. So I'm going along with six squid hoppers for my little, uh, my little troop. And then obviously we need a Santa. So I'm using this body where he's obviously already sitting down. And I've chosen this plain orc head just because later on I want to add a hat and a beard to this little fella. As these squig are meant to have little riders sitting on their back, they've got a little hole there which would accommodate the guy sitting on his back. But obviously I don't want that. So I'm going to use some green stuff and just fill the hole in. I'm not too sure what these guys' colours meant to be, but as I love orange, that's the colour I'm going to make them. And obviously Santa's going to be in red. So I'm still using these contrast paints, which I pretty much love. It does seem to save doing a base coat and then some sort of wash. So for the sleigh, rather than scratch bashing it, I thought it would be more fun to convert one of the Orc vehicles. So I'm going to kit bash this Orc Shock Jump Dragster. Just because I like the main opening cabin bit here. I can imagine that being turned into a Santa sleigh. As there's a few orc kits that I've not actually built, I have now got a box of bits, which is pretty cool. So I do enjoy this kit bashing, and we'll certainly be doing more. So it's just a case of cutting bits off and gluing bits on. So I'm going to use this coat hanger to make the runners that go underneath the sleigh, just because it's already got this little wibbly wobbly bent bit that will be perfect for that job. Again, it's just more cutting, snipping and gluing. And the rest of the coat hanger is not going to go to waste either. So I'm going to use that as a kind of, well, kind of a base. And by base, I basically mean just a rod that's going to have it at a nice angle as though he's flying up in the air. And the last few remaining little bits of coat hanger I can use to attach the squigs to. There we go, it's starting to take a bit of shape now. Just a bit more gluing needed. So this is one of the little fellas that should have been riding the squig hoppers. But instead I'm going to have him hanging on for his life at the back of the sleigh. Obviously Santa's going to need a big sack of toys, although in this case I think it's going to be guns. So to make that, I'm going to use a rolled up ball of silver foil and I'm going to cover it in green stuff. So I've only recently been using this green stuff, but it's pretty cool and I love the fact that it dries so quickly. And we can have another squig rider sitting on the sack of toys, or guns, or whatever might be inside it. There's a few last things to add onto the sleigh. And I've used a bit more green stuff just to fill in any areas that needed it. So my Orc Santa's got his hat on now, not looking too bad. But I do feel he needs to have a beard. And again, good old green stuff.
So using my nice sharp pointy tool, I can manipulate the green stuff to where I need it to make a rough looking beard. So one last thing I wanted to change before I start painting this bad boy was to cut up some guns that I can have poking out of Santa's sack. Who are, madam? And now onto the fun part of painting, which I am now starting to really enjoy. And to make it easier doing the checkered pattern on these things, I now do them with fine pens. So much easier and neater. I can now cut these squigs off their paint holders and attach them to the sleigh. There we go, I think they look pretty cool now. And here's my Santa with one lovely long beard. And I've raised his seat up a little bit, just so we can see over the dashboard now. So this guy came with his hands holding onto a steering wheel. But obviously in this case, I'm going to take the steering wheel out, just so I can give him some reins. And no surprise, the reins can be made out of more green stuff. I'm certainly loving this. It can be used all over the place. And then the last little bit of painting, and it's done. And there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of kit bashing. This is a fun little project, this is going to be cool to bring out every Christmas. What I might do is every year add some more bits to it, like have a building or something that you can be flying over. Don't forget guys to give this video a like, leave some comments, and share with family, friends, and anyone else. A big thank you as always to my patrons for helping support this channel as I really would like to do this full time. So with your help guys, maybe one day I can get there. There is another video on the screen guys. Don't forget to click on that to see more of what I do. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.